Welcome. In this video, we'll show you the new features in FL Studio Mobile 4.7. First up, we've added a tremolo effect. This is great on keys and pad sounds. It works via automating the volume according to the wave shape you set with a shape control. Set the modulation speed with the rate knob here. You can synchronize that to tempo here. Note how the rate knob changes to a drop down menu when sync is on. These three controls, smooth, skew, and width, are modifiers for the wave shape. If it's too intense, use the min and max controls to set how hard it affects the input. Stereo controls how offset the volume automation is between left and right channels. and phase sets the starting point in the wave shape. There is a new preset picker to add modules to the rack instead of the old drop-down menu, in addition to streamlining the experience with adding new tracks in the playlist, which also opened a browser on the left-hand side. Now you can test out different effects without the menu automatically closing on you. This makes finding the right effect for any given situation a much easier task than before, as when you select a different effect than the one you initially picked, it will be swapped out in the rack. All channels that make sound, synthesizers and samplers, now automatically rename when a new synth or preset is loaded provided it's the very top synth module in the rack. The preset preview mechanic now supports channel rack presets, if they have synthesizers in them. Long tap channel rack presets to preview them, like with synth presets. It is now possible to import more than one file at a time with the Android file browser using the import button in the project browser. Automatable controls now display a context menu on right click if you're using FL Studio Mobile on desktop. Saves you from always having to go down here to automate a control as you can add automation tracks from the menu now. Spreader received new parameters from its FL Studio desktop brother. Separation and Mono. Separation is a mid-side mixer. And Mono will force the output to Mono under the low bypass frequency when switched on. The LUFS, or Loudness Unit's Full Scale Algorithm in the Analyzer module, has improved precision now. And that's all the new stuff in FL Studio Mobile 4.7. We hope you love it as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Don't forget to check the video description for links to the manual and the projects we made for this video. Happy music making!